Est-ce que ni bébé casse eh frère say eh Jordan Ayou me chia no one pacho me pacho. On no call the first person di kan din komo. On no one call train bi. Bo mo ye train no nka ho. No no nko ane te ho. Ti bra me call park on me ti me tra se ne nchen. En ne bo ko ba be se be 5 minutes cran sa na me sa ko. An sa no mo pon train no mo nyina e ba. Ma ko cheche o mo nyina nti no. Jordan ye me ne ne kasa an sa. E di ne hu nya se wo hu me wo sa so le bi o. E di pacho mo amon kan sa no. Total wrong. Omun na dia happy and their chance for say make me abom che abesaw Hello guys, welcome back to Sports Corner G8. My name is Adam. So still, we are going to talk about the Black Stars because they are not done yet. They are going to play a friendly match against Liberia on the 12th of September at the Afra Sports Stadium, 4 p.m. We are also going to discuss some Black Star team camp news live here on Sports Corner G8. In addition to that, we are going to look at how the players reacted to the game they played at the Barbaria Sports Stadium after qualifying for the Africa Cup of Nations in Ivory Coast January next year. So guys, today's video is all about the Black Stars. If you have not subscribed yet, please make sure to subscribe. If you have already subscribed to, thank you very much. May God richly bless you. So guys, don't forget, our giveaway is still ongoing. Comment under this video and any other video we drop here on Sports Corner G. You just stand a chance of winning yourself a free jersey of your choice. It's very, very simple. Please make sure to participate. So, guys, quickly, let me jump into it and talk about the Black Stars. Now, the Black Stars, after winning 2 1 against Central African Republic at the Baba Sports Stadium, are going to move from Marseille back to Accra, where they have their recovery training and also prepare ahead of the game against Liberia. That game is a friendly match at the Accra Sports Stadium. On the 12th of September, that's a Tuesday. Yes, on Tuesday, on the 12th of September. So it's 4 p.m. Ghana versus Liberia is just a friendly match. But this is what I want to see. The Black Stars are going to move from Kumasi to Accra and they prepare for that game. They are going to have a recovery training. They are going to prepare for that game. And I just believe and hope that Coach Chris Uti treats that game like a competitive game, like any other game. We shouldn't say it's a, it's a friendly match. So we should use Team B. Black Star, it should be used or it should be considered as a very competitive game. On your screen are some of the um, reactions from Black Star players on Twitter or on social media on how you know they, they saw the match. Some said, Oh, they didn't have their best day and all that. So you can see that on your screen. So I'm going to talk about the game against Liberia and then like the, the reactions from the players will be rolling on your screen. First of all, the Black Star coach. The game against Liberia, that friendly match, wouldn't come, you know, like easy again because from now to um, next year, January, we really don't have a lot of match to actually test our first 11. When you look at this Black Star squad, you, you hardly can stamp your feet on what the core Black Star team is. And this is the match Coach Chris Hutton can use to say, oh, this is my core team. Because as at this moment, we don't know the plan or the coaching system Coach Chris Hutton has imposed on the Black Star. The Black Stars play without identity, whether offensive, whether defensive, whether you are going to possess the ball or whether you are going to play on the counter attack. You don't know what the Black Stars are playing. Our build up to every game is very slow. We only pick up games when we are about to, um, um, we have considered a goal, which is very, very bad. So, looking at the game against Liberia, we are going to play against a softer side, in my opinion. But, from the black stars we have seen in previous times i mean every softer side looks like a very big match to us and our players are not a match so i'm even sad to say as a team we don't look like a, a, a team that has quality as a team we don't look like a team that has quality but individually our individual billions helps us out to win games coach christian has played four games so far he has not lost any and i think okay is good you have qualified yes but how long would you play this way I mean, until, you know, your luck runs out. Because there is no pattern of play. There is nothing. I think it's high time we play according to our strengths. If you want to play three-back system, this is the game against Liberia. This is where you play it. Don't say players have moved to new clubs. So because of injury, you sideline them down and then use players that usually you would not use in a game. You don't do that. This is a friendly match against Liberia. 
I believe it should be treated as competitive as any other game the Black Stars are going to play. Mohamed Blues, the likes, everybody that falls part of that first 11 should play the Liberia game because it's high time coach Chris Hutton uses this friendly match to experiment his particular quoted imprint on the Black Stars. It's very important because at this moment, if I ask you, what is the plan or what is the, the, the style of the Black Stars? We don't know. Look at the other countries, Nigeria, Egypt, even yesterday, Mali. If you saw how Mali was playing yesterday, my goodness, we are going to face Mali in World Cup qualifiers. And this is the Mali team that I'm not joking at all. Yesterday, they gave South Sudan 4 0. And I mean, if Bissouma is playing so wonderfully well, look at him. <laughs> if Bissouma, I'm comparing to our midfielders. I am the Ghana versus Mali is going to be a, you know, a very tough one. And if Ghana wants to actually qualify for the World Cup and play the World Cup qualifiers very well, we should learn how to actually win games, especially away from home. That's why I said in my previous video that Black Stars are not going to play all their games to the end of, let's say, the year and also the, in the next year at Barbara Asper Studio. There will be instances that we have to leave Ghana to other countries. And we have to have that mental focus, that, that you know, identity that when we go to other people's countries, we need to go there and go and win match. Our build-up is always slow, always, always slow. And I hear the question about Inaki this, Inaki that. This is the time we try Inaki in a very new system to see if you can bring the best out of him. A lot of people are saying, play Inaki and Antoine Semenyon the same way. Try it. This is the game you do all those things. Don't say this game is a friendly match and then you go and bring in the likes of Jonathan Sowa, Ransford the Work and his daughter. Players that we know, we know they would actually not start for the Black Stars. You don't do that. Play their first 11 your combat and then use a system that you wish you had used and try it and see whether it will work. That is the most important thing. That is what I just want to say about this game. Because it's very imperative that we try new ways to bring out the best out of our players. So guys, let me know your thoughts about the Ghana versus Liberia game. I just believe that it should be treated like any other game. Because Ghana, we have no identity. And Ghana's biggest problem is not the players. Ghana's biggest problem is the coaches. Yes, the coaches. It's not the players. If you look at the Black Star system, the game we played against Central African Republic. If Thomas Pate was in that game, that game would have been played the same way. If Andre, Andre Ayu was in that game, that game would have been played the same way. No difference. If Kamaldi Suleimana was in that game, he would have played it the same way. If Ashimiru was in that game, same way. You could say that it's not about even the players. The players are playing in a very bad system. You see, when you are playing a bad system, an average player will look very poor. And if you are playing a good system, an average player will look very good. So, I, I mean, I don't even blame the players. When they come to Black Stars, they can't, they can't perform. But then when they go to their club side, they are doing so well, they are performing. It's because when they come here, our system is just so defensive. If you look at the game we played against Central African Republic, we had about six defensive-minded players on the pitch, which is very bad. If we need goals, you don't uh, feed in a lot of defensive players in the game. And our uh, the wing backs, the left back and then also the right backs, don't even add anything up when we are going forward, which is very sad because in the modern game, left back, wing back, you contribute when going forward and you also come back and defend. We need to reverse, re re uh, we need to like, we need to rethink how the black stars have to you know play certain games. If you are playing a very against a very bigger side, you know, okay, you need to defend and hit them on the counter. If you are playing against a softer side, you need to possess more, create chances, and score goals. We not, I mean, we are playing and then we are stuck in between us two. We want the ball or we don't want the ball. Or we want to shoot pressure and then play on the counter. We don't know actually what we are doing. So you could see it is it is a coaching problem, not a player problem. So guys, this is just my take on the game against Ghana versus Liberia. I just feel like that game should be treated as competitive as any other game that the Black Stars are going to play. That is just on my thoughts. So guys, let me know just down below in the comment section. My name is Adam. I'll make sure to bring you all the updates from the Black Star team camp as they arrive here in Accra to prepare for the game against Liberia. It will be played on the 12th of September at the Accra Sports Stadium, 4 p.m. We'll make sure to bring you all the live updates, highlights, goals from the Black Stars and also after match analysis live here on Sports Canal GH. My name is Adam. I'll make sure to see you in the next video challenge. Enjoy your weekend. We will vibe.